Hi, it's Jeff from discoverablebase.com. Thanks for checking out this video lesson. And if you'd like more like this, you can follow the link that's below this video. Now today I'm going to be teaching you uh, the study piece that you just heard. I've called it Mario's brother because it sounds a lot like the type of thing you'd hear in an 80s or 90s computer game. So yeah, it's uh, quite a simple sounding piece, but there's some challenging stuff in there, including playing in thumb position below the one octave harmonic, uh, some chords and a few things going on with the right hand that I want to share as well. So let's get into that now. The piece starts with the bass line, which is G, D, B, G. Let me show you how that works. Low G, open D, B on the G string with your little finger, and then open G. G, open D, B, G. And pay particular attention to this low G. It's sometimes tempting to play this quite sharp, like that because I think the position of where the B is makes it hard to judge uh, where the G is all the way across the on the E string. You could even let the open G ring so you can then test your tuning. This is where the melody starts. Let's have a look at this little phrase here in thumb position. So it's it's actually a really quick grace note onto the note E. If you take that away, it would sound like this. But now let's add in the grace note beforehand, D to E. And it hammers on from G to A, and then G, the harmonic at the G. And that harmonic will then allow you to shift back down. So the position that we're in here is a chromatic hand shape. meaning you've got G, G sharp, A, B flat, but we're only really using the D, the E, the G, and the A. In fact, that's, they're all the notes that we're using, really, uh, for, this, for this part. Okay, then back down to the bass line. Second part is, so G, E, D, and I often play that as a harmonic, so it helped me move my hand down and the open G, and then my hand is back in position to play the next part. Let's just play the first two uh, melody lines there. Now I put in a little grace note there as well. I'm just plucking the string with my second finger whilst muting it with the first. And I don't necessarily think you have to do that every time, but if you'd like to, I, it kind of adds a bit more rhythmic, rhythmic interest to what you're playing. And this time it's the open G, not the harmonic. Uh, back to the bass iron again. And this little passage here, we've moved up to the C chord and uh, it starts on the G, E, D, and then you're sliding from D to C. So you could play this um, down on the, on the G string, but I really like the way the slides work, um, playing it in thumb position like this. So G, E, D, C. So you really, you're gonna have to really work hard to tune these notes. Make sure that you're moving your whole hand back. And then the next phrase is G, E, D, C, A. Okay, so it's G, G, E, D, C, and then there's a passing note on A, and then it repeats it an octave lower. G, E, D, C. And if you want to test that note, you can test, test it against the open G to see if it's in tune. And it's hard this, my, my, I've been playing this piece this morning um, and it's, uh, my thumb is quite sore now actually because I'm doing a lot of thumb position. So take your time with it, but it really is cool to be able to slide in thumb position and go lower 
uh, than the one octave mark. Also make sure that you count the rhythm correctly. So one, two, and then we're back into the uh, back into the piece. Now there's a backing track and a transcription that go along with this lesson that will be available uh, on my website. You'll have to visit the website and the information will be listed underneath this video if you'd like more information on that. Um, so yeah, back into the back into the piece. Let's have a look from the beginning. The introduction four times. Melody. Open G there. Now we're moving into C. One, two. That is the whole thing just there. And then it just repeats. Oh, that should have been an open G there. One, two. Now here, there's a change. Let's have a look at this before we move on. There's a lot of information there. So, um, here we've got B, open G, F sharp, E, and then low E. And the low E falls on beat one. So, um, where are we? Now, while I hit the low E, to do that, I use my right hand. Um, so I'm using my, the, the third finger on my right hand here to, uh, um, to to play that low E. Let's just look at that slowly. You see there, my third finger is playing the low E because you've got this. You could use your second finger, but I just like using the third finger when I'm playing these chords that are moving across strings like this. Um, and then I'm sliding up. So to sli when you slide up, you've got to swap fingers. So I'm ch changing from the second to the, um, sorry, from the first to the second. Then I play the G, open D and slide again. G at the harmonic and now we're playing these descending chords C and let's look at the right hand a moment here I'm playing C in the back on the E string and E on the G and I find it more comfortable to play these with my third finger on the low note now you can use two fingers or you can even pluck them like this but as I say I like using this fingering choice on the right hand then Let's look at what these notes are. We've got E, D, C in the in the back in the treble, and we've got C, B, open A, open A in the bass. So let's have a listen. C, C and E. We've got B and D. You can test against the harmonics there if you'd like to check your tuning. And then C and open A. It's hard to play these in tune. I usually play the C and the A just with the first and second fingers. It's only really if I'm moving across uh, all of the strings that I tend to use the third. Then we've got this little pickup line. Let's have a look what this is. C, B, and then the A harmonic, and the G harmonic. Back down to the bass line. And the answering phrase is A, G, F sharp, open G. So let's just have a look at that again, right from the middle bit. Answering phrase. And there we've actually reached the middle point of, this, of the piece really. So we've got the introduction, which is the bass I'm playing four times, then we've got um, the two repeated sections with a little uh, variation at the end, 
and then this means that we're in the middle so we play the two repeated sections again with a little variation at the end um so yeah that's pretty much the uh the whole piece and i think that really what i'd like to do is focus on making sure that you're shifting carefully that you're getting those notes in tune and that you're using the open strings as a tuning anchor so for instance when you be really careful that you those notes are in tune by listening against the open open e then when you're when you're playing the g to the f sharp make sure that you're moving your whole hand and that that f sharp note is in tune with the open d um, when you're playing these chords think again about moving the hand it's really common to sort of scrunch up a bit and you don't really get enough movement to actually play the notes carefully so that's where you should be focusing your effort practice in front of a mirror and it will really help you to see if there's any problems as well as to uh, with your hand shape as well as listening to identify any problems with your tuning so just to finish off the last little bit of the piece is uh, it repeats this 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 figure at the end a bass line answering phrase a G F sharp G and then it repeats the phrase um, plays the same thing again so let's just do that uh, from the chord bass line answering phrase original answering phrase and there's an extra little bit at the end which is E D C D and then low G for the end. I hope you've enjoyed this piece. It's just a fun, short study to help you improve your technique. Uh, if you'd like the transcription for this and the backing track, follow the links and look below the video and I'll explain exactly how you can do that. Keep practicing hard and I'll see you next time.